the Sensor PL30 contains a web server with the configuration software Solpas Air. In this tutorial, the possibilities for a configuration by Solpas Air are presented. Our PL30 demo case is used again. Furthermore, an Ethernet cable connects the sensor with a PC in order to provide the service data and the visualization in Solpas Air. To start Solpas Air, a standard web browser has to be started. By typing in the sensor's IP address, Solpas Air is started. In factory settings, the IP default address is 192.168.100.100. The integrated web server contains the software Solpas Air, which is started now automatically in the web browser. In the left area of the screen, a menu is located, which gives the possibility of sensor configuration as well as a teach-in. First, the encoder settings shall be shown in the menu settings. On the lock icon, the screen can be locked or unlocked. In the settings menu, the teach in by external teach, which means the teach in by external signal, can be configured. It can be selected between a start length or a start stop teach in. In the case of a start length teach in, the teach in length can be defined. Additionally, there's the option for error handling in the endless mode. It allows an ongoing stable switching even with up to three incorrect labels. Further setting possibilities are the sensor resolution as well as the encoder settings, type, direction and resolution. Ethernet settings such as the IP address, subnet, gateway and DHCP settings can be modified by clicking the button Ethernet settings. The menu device info provides information about the sensor such as part number, serial number or the current software version. The menu teach in is content of a separate tutorial. Therefore, the menu monitoring is selected now directly. A teach in has been done up front so that the monitoring can be shown. In the endless mode, there is, additionally to the process picture, a coordinate system which shows the detected label length. The x axis shows number of the visualized past switching signals and the y axis the respective detected label length. On request, also the teach in picture can be shown. We see that with each switching point, the same label length is detected which indicates a stable and accurate switching. The most important possibilities for setting and monitoring have now been presented. For further information about the teach-in process by Sopus Air, please check the next tutorial.